So one of the big things that I didn't think was going to be a big part of me being up in Sacramento was um, how much the state is losing businesses. So in my district, we have Hillmar Cheese. And Hillmar Cheese wanted to build another plant. And they wanted to build it pretty close in my district, uh, which would have provided jobs, which would have provided a tax revenue, and, and just everything else that goes with it. But the state of California, we have so many regulations, CEQA, uh, which is a bad word that I've learned about now up there in Sacramento, that uh, they didn't build here. They actually went to a different state. And the, the sad part about it is, is with that state, within a couple weeks, they were already building. That governor had already come to them and basically said, what do you need? How can I help you? Thank you for coming to our state. And they're building. And so those are opportunities that, that my district or even the state missed out on, again, for jobs, revenue, providing products made here in California for Californians that we, we don't have right now. And that's, that's kind of the theme that I'm hearing also with other industries. So now let's, let's go with the cheese and, and go to the dairy part. Uh, a lot of dairies are upset because they have all these regulations to where they, it's costing so much to make milk that it's cheaper for the other state to come in and just sell their milk here. And so we're, we're, not, we're not doing the California thing where we're providing for our California dairies. We're, we're getting from out of state is what we're doing because it's cheaper for them to make it. And dairies can just you know, take their cows, go and leave, unlike almond growers or, or just growers in general. You can't really just pull out your trees and go over there. But we have really rich, perfect soil here for that. So they, they can't really leave and, and profit as much as they would stay here. So our, our dairies, I've, I've learned a lot from our dairies. Uh, as far as what they're losing out on, and it's it's unfortunate. And so I'm hoping that I, I can find ways to uh, get through this red tape to help them thrive, help them to be productive, and and stay most importantly in California. So there's there's a lot of details that go with like just building a new a dairy as it goes, and and the environmental impacts that it has. So the state of California wants to know like what's the impact on the air what's the impact on the soil what's the impact on the environment what's the impact on the economics there's so many impact studies that need to be done and gone through and get passed to where good luck you're not going to be building your business for a while now whereas other states they don't have all those regulations they don't have all that that red tape for them to go through so they're able to get their business up and running and and going back to the state where Hillmar Cheese ended up going to that governor's even providing like incentive programs to come and start a business here, which is smart. So they're, they're taking our businesses and, and, and using them over there. So now we have this revenue that I brought up earlier with like tax revenue that we don't have. Well, we, we have a $68 million deficit. Well, yeah, you have businesses that are leaving the state and that's just the dairies and the cheese that I was talking about. You know, you're talking insurance, you're talking real estate, you're talking uh, trucking those kind of things like I'll just go over here and do it then as opposed to here so those are those are the kind of the red tape that they go through that they have to the hoops they have to jump through just to get a business going on in California and you know, people want to enjoy the American dream have their own business be an entrepreneur and we make it very hard for them to do that here in the state of California so I already know that we've had some projects in California that were allowed to be built where some some limitations were kind of just put to the side. We'll let you pass, go ahead and build it. If they're able to do that, then they should be able to do it for other businesses. I don't like just picking who your favorites are and letting them pass and let them do what they want. That, that's wrong. Uh, you know, we talk about equality, well then fine, be equal across the board. If they're able to do it, this person should be able to do it as well. So I think bringing that more to light with people so they can see that more as far as, oh, well, that group got to do it, why can't you do it? I think that, that is one of the steps. The other one is, is trying to get the steps cut back to where you do it in regions. We're, we're a huge state, right? We, we mentioned big, beautiful state. You can go surfing, you can go skiing, you can do all these things. But we do a one-size-fits-all for our entire state, and that doesn't work. It needs to be more regional to those areas. Uh, and I'll just make an, an example right now. Uh, we just recently passed a minimum wage for medical care workers. Well, that's nice for Los Angeles and the Bay Area, but like in the Valley where I'm from, that's a big hit. And so we're not really going to be able to survive on that. And so now you're going to expect people in the Valley to have to pay more in their insurance. 
Uh, you're going to have hospitals that may have to shut down because they're not going to be able to afford it with all the new overhead that they're going to get. And so that, that, that one size fits all doesn't work. So a regional thing would make more sense. And, and that's just, I'm just talking the medical thing. There's, there's obviously real estate. There's so many other things that we could be doing regionally as opposed to one size fits all. Let's do it all in the entire state. And that, that's not saying I'm going to be able to get all that done, but I think just making people aware of it more, I think, is the, the right step to take to go to the right direction. But it's going to take a big team. And there's, there's 80 assembly members up there, and hopefully I can get most of them on board to, to help me with that.